going on here? Not really. Let's go. A war has been going on for billions of years that breeds well-armed monsters who struggle with other monsters for survival. Having no particular interest in us, most of them are relatively harmless, as our immune systems deal with their weapons easily. But there are exceptions. Negleria fowleri is an amoeba that has not only developed a deadly taste for human brains, but what? is also a match for our defenses and stars in dramatic headlines. What happens when this monster enters your body? What? I never heard of that before. I know there's a mm, bacteria that goes inside your brain. Toxoplasmosis. Um, like, I think around 30% of the human race has that. It mostly comes from cats. Right? And like, when you're pregnant. All right, man. Uh, like, um, Lisa has to be very careful lately to, to not get toxoplasmosis because that bacteria can massively fuck with the fetus, man. Tell me when he's done chewing. Negleria fowleri is an amoeba, a microbe with a nucleus, one of the smallest life forms on Earth. It is a microbe oh. with a nucleus. Wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One of the smallest life forms on Earth. It is a voracious hunter of bacteria and other critters that it devours whole and rips into pieces. Like many amoebae, it is able to transform into different stages that help it survive. But most of the time, Negleria fowleri is in its trophozoite stage, during which it looks like a squishy blob with tiny arms and hunts, divides, and thrives. Did you guys ever hear about this? I didn't. <clears throat> you mean Epstein Barr? You mean Epstein Barr? What, what, what? Like, what are you talking about? Did I say something? Like, what? What is he talking about? The Epstein Barr virus. It's a virus. What kind of virus is that? One where you, where you don't kill yourself? Its natural home is in fresh water, ponds, rivers, lakes, and hot springs. But unfortunately, it also feels happy in pipes, swimming pools, fountains, or spas when they're not properly treated. The warmer the water, the more it thrives and multiplies. <laughs> Man, this game is so fast. These mods are so good. So in the summer, when humans seek to cool off and enjoy themselves, the chances are highest that both species will interact. Because this makes it hard to avoid, millions of people regularly have contact with the amoeba, especially in warmer climates, and many people even seem to have antibodies against it. And this is mostly okay. You can even swallow it without consequences. Things turn bad when people dive or swim in water contaminated with the amoeba, and water splashes high up into their noses. In a single drop of lake water, there are millions of viruses, bacteria, and amoebae, and that isn't really a big deal. But Negleria fowleri is different. Let's zoom into the nose of an unsuspecting victim enjoying a great summer day and see what happens. First of all, the amoeba doesn't really want to be inside your nose, as it's not really looking for trouble. It just wants to eat a few bacteria. Instead, it's greeted by your natural defenses. Unfortunately for humans, Negleria fowleri happens to be exceptionally good at generally flying under the radar of your immune system. Interesting. God, this game is so fast. Um, so I just massively debuffed myself. Let me check this. I massively debuffed myself. Yeah, massive, massive debuff. But now you take care of that again. Um, you get four sifts, 20 steel, minus five consumer goods, 25 industrial resource speed. That's what he was talking about. Now I get it. You should have said industrial, you muppet. Thank you, Storm Killor. And my, I get five resources, five uh, consumer goods. Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. I get a lot of cool shit. Cool. Um, Silent Rock Horse opener, probably, huh? Yeah, Silent Rock Horse. Okay. For example, the inside of your nose is covered by mucosa, a slime filled with chemicals that kill or stun possible invaders or alert immune cells. But Negleria fowleri is not particularly bothered by them and instead calmly checks out the scenery 
mildly annoyed about the whole ordeal. Thank you, Ninja, my bro. Now, Appreciate if you are unlucky, you, the top. Sorry, um, fascism or stability? I'm taking stability, which I dearly need, it seems, right now. Yep. Tiny critter stumbles Thank over you, something that actually sparks its interest. Nerve cells. Your nose is filled with a large network of olfactory nerve cells that pick up molecules from the outside and transmit their information to your olfactory bulb, the center of smell in your brain. To do their job, these cells talk to each other by releasing various messenger chemicals and recognizing them via specific receptors. One of the most important of these chemicals is acetylcholine. Through sheer evolutionary bad luck, Negleria fowlery happens to have receptors that recognize acetylcholine. And it seems to attract them irresistibly, a little like moths that are attracted by light. So as your olfactory nerve cells do their job, using plenty of acetylcholine to talk to the brain, Negleria fowlery enters your tissue. It seems to follow the chemical signals upstream. Neutrophils, crazy suicide warriors, begin to attack the amoebae. Individually, they have no chance against them, as the invaders are large and pretty buff fighters, used to dealing with tough enemies. So the defenders swarm the intruders and kill them either by vomiting chemicals that punch holes into them, or by literally ripping parts of them off and devouring them. Hmm. But the Negleria Fowlery train is still on track, and while the neutrophil attacks slow them down, they continue to follow the olfactory nerves to their final destination, your brain. Okay. This process. It's getting scary now. We're getting a bit scary. Okay, uh, reduced reliance on oil. One industry bonus and more bonuses coming in step by step. After this, should I go left or right? I feel like left one first for the political power. Makes most sense. Right one is building more sif. Left one is getting the silent war course faster. I would have to. I would have to go for the PP path. In the end, you have enough sif anyway in this game. And you'll probably not notice anything during that time until the amoebae reach the olfactory bulb, the center of smell and entrance to your brain. Your brain cells are nothing more than helpless victims, and they all release that wonderful acetylcholine. Negleria fowlery initiates a massacre and releases an onslaught of various attack molecules. Some of them are basically little bombs that rip holes the into your cells on contact so their pieces can be oh. eagerly consumed. But That's the Glaria Fowlery is now multiplying, and it's also becoming really creepy. In a feeding frenzy, it can develop up to a dozen suckers called food cups that look like giant, eerie mouths. The amoebae engage your brain cells, suck them in, and rip large bites out of them while they're still alive. Now things escalate quickly, and the disease that will kill you sets in. Alerted by the massacre, millions of immune cells, neutrophils, Eosinophils and microglias invade the infected tissue, which is a problem. Your immune system is dangerous and not exactly a careful fighter. It's like burning down a forest to kill the wolves inside it. Like an American. A really bad idea in the brain. They waste no time and attack the amoeba, using all the weapons available to them, from chemicals to trying to eat. What I think is so respectable and so mind-blowing is that some human being found all this out. Probably years of research culminated in, in, in a 10-minute video where, where very, very bright-minded people um, were researching this for a long, long time. Neutrophils explode themselves to erect barriers spiked with deadly chemicals. A fierce battle ensues. Negleria fowlery can actually fight back, itself attacking and killing many immune cells. The immune system now throws everything it has at the invader, but in vain. The complement system, tiny protein bombs that can kill intruders on their own, are easily disabled. Antibodies, usually one of your super weapons, are just destroyed or swallowed. A high fever that usually slows enemies down. I've never heard of this in my life. Uh, basic machine tools, uh, basic worker skills, just pay attention. I have really low PP income, huh? That's why I should probably go left for the pill. Um, does nothing as the amoeba actually no, you should go thrives. Right. Because if you have low PP, then the 25% from the side workers doesn't help you at all. So we should go with the right one first to have a little bit more stiff outcome in the, in the heat. All the while, the amoebae continue to multiply. Sorry, sorry, ADHD introduced. Boop, boop, boop. More bonuses, more bonuses. Fight and devour your brain cells. A disastrous chain reaction is taking place. One major thing your immune cells it's do when they fight is to cause inflammation. Legs. 
Is that true? Which directs large amounts of true. fluid from your bloodstream into the site of an infection. So as the battle rages on without a clear winner, more and more fluid enters oh, the brain. Oh shit! At this point, the human will feel symptoms that quickly escalate. Oh, that's it all scary. begins pretty vaguely: a headache, fever, nausea, and vomiting. As the battle spreads rapidly through the brain, serious symptoms appear, from confusion, inability to concentrate, to fatigue, seizures, and hallucinations. That's fucking scary, man. Oh, oh, that's that's sexual. There's, 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 right now, 50% of the chat is aroused by this. Because they always watch this fucking weird hentai stuff, where, where the girls are like, oh, what? The brain swells up massively, but can't expand ah, hey, well, oh, due you to know the bones that, huh? you know that. I don't wonder. So it compresses and disables the brainstem that controls things oh, like Jesus. breathing. Usually, within a week, the patient dies. A week? Up to 97% of the patients infected by the amoeba share this fate. In almost all cases, by the time an infection by Nagleria fowleri is recognized, the disastrous battle for the brain is already so far along that there is almost nothing to be done. Fuck off. Not You're only do we yourself. currently not have effective treatments, there are also an abundance of open questions about how an amoeba that usually enjoys its life in open water is able to overcome our immune system so effectively. Jeez. So, how worried do you need to be about this horrifying killer amoeba? Well, not, not at all. While the Nagleria fowleri is clearly extremely deadly, um, affect you, you are and my the bro. infection truly horrible, there have only been a few hundred cases in the last few decades. You are way more likely to drown in a pool than to get infected. Not only does the amoeba need to be flushed high up your nose, it also needs to get a good grip and it also has to make its way through the first lines of your defenses. Ultimately, Nagleria found. Do they imagine like crazy Russian scientists could weaponize this shit and put it into a war or something? Is neither evil Bruh. nor a huge public health risk. But every year, some unlucky people have to deal with it. We still have so much to learn about it, and Dad, until we find a way to treat it, to Nagleria Fowlery will continue to be this vague and horrifying Maybe thing, this is what turned hunting in puddles and lakes, and sometimes pools. Usually for bacteria, and very occasionally so, for people. So, when you jump in the river or something, do like this, okay? Careful of your nose, guys. Oh, hey. Careful, careful. Who are you? It's me, your existential dread. Um... Okay. I'm here to make you question. You see that, Chet? In in my life, this is me and this is you. Your own existence and everything you hold dear in life. Could you not, please? Too late. Just look at all these amazing posters full of humbling visualizations. Are you selling like posters the now? Of the universe. Look how huge it is and how small. The design is so beautiful, man. Look at the education edition. How it dives cool, deep man. into the history of evolution. I think that's really cool, like for children. Dude, I think that's really cool. I would generally think stuff getting stuff this for my kid or something. Know. But look at this that's one. amazing, it dude. in the dark. Damn. But dread, these do make me feel good, actually. They do fill me with excitement and awe about work how Tommy. amazing our universe is. Dude, I can't talk shit. I love learning. I mean, I, I have the better textile stuff, obviously, and he has the posters and stuff. Okay, war support, army XP, dude. I'm getting more democratic because I get such good bonuses from it. Okay, let's fix this country.